Colon cancer is the leading cause of cancer deaths in the United States, according to the American Cancer Society, but is there a way to detect it early? Joining us to discuss screening options that can detect lung cancer at its earliest stages when it is most treatable is Dr. Th Dr. Timothy Mullet, chair of the Commission on Cancer of the American College of Surgeons in Lexington, Kentucky. Thanks for joining us, doctor. Thank you, Amanda. It's a privilege to be here. Well, tell us a little bit about who is at most risk for developing lung cancer. I think that uh, we certainly understand that uh, lung cancer has several risk factors that are associated with it. Uh, most dominant of these, of course, is uh, tobacco use, typically personal cigarette smoking, and long-term use of that is a higher risk. There are other risk factors involved, such as radon exposure in the home or the school, perhaps asbestos exposure, heavy metal exposure from industry, and also those people that have extensive lung disease, such as emphysema, may be at higher risk as well. So these are people that we want to pay particular attention to. And so but I think the important message is that anyone with lungs can get lung cancer. Right. And so anyone can get screened for lung cancer. Is there a specific time that would be best to do so? Well, I think that uh, for those people that are at highest risk, and we typically think of 50 plus 15. So if you're 50 years of age or older and you have at least a 15 year history of tobacco use, then you may be eligible for lung cancer screening. And you should be talking to your doctor about this. Uh, lung cancer screening can save lives. Lung cancer screening is easy to do. It's a low dose CT scan. Uh, you can lay down and get the scan done in about 15 seconds with no needles, no injections. And so it's something that should be done every year to get the best results and find these cancers early if you're at high risk. And how would you best promote those screenings, especially for someone who might be reluctant to get that screening for lung cancer? There's a, certainly a stigma that's associated with a diagnosis like this. And so we want to make sure that we kind of break down those barriers and talk about this. Um, and so I think it's important for patients to be comfortable talking with their doctor if they feel like they may be at risk. Uh, and the doctor should certainly be aware of these uh, indications for lung cancer screening. Um, you know, I think it's also important that there's some internal barriers that we may have that patients may have had experiences in the past in their family or friends or colleagues that have been diagnosed and have watched them go through the treatment for lung cancer years ago. And today we're treating it differently than we did before. This is not your grandfather's lung cancer. We are treating this with more effective treatment, certainly with screening, finding it early can get you into surgery, typically with small incisions, often with a video camera or a surgical robot for being able to remove these cancers early and with less of an impact on patients. And even if it's found later, our treatments today are more effective than ever and using targeted therapies, sometimes these treatments can be much more effective than what we've seen before and even a pill may be what patients can take for some of these cancers to be able to have an increased impact on improving your opportunity for survival. So I think it's a message of hope. It's a message that we can prevent this disease by helping people who are at risk to quit tobacco use. And we have ways to be able to help you with that. We also have a message of hope that uh, we can uh, find this cancer early if we get the right patients in for screening and detect this in a stage that can be treated with less of an impact. Uh, and even if it's found later, we have a message of hope that these patients can have better outcomes because the treatments are more effective uh, and less uh, side effects and so that we can be able to get more patients safely through this treatment and see a better outcome on the other side. Awesome. I like that, a message of hope. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Doctor, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Amanda. It's a privilege.